and my Canon C70 was stolen out of the Tesla. Oh, shut the hell up. Dude, I'm so sad. No. Yeah, dude. Did they damage the Tesla? That's the part that's driving me insane because I'm pretty confident it was stolen out of the Tesla because we put it in there and then we drove to the hotel for my birthday and then we went into the hotel and I had thought I brought it in, but we checked the surveillance cameras at the hotel and they didn't see me walk in with a camera. So I must have left it in the Tesla, but I went back, I knew exactly where it was and it just wasn't there anymore. There was no cracked windows and also the Tesla has sentry mode. So whenever it thinks it's detecting something, then it'll start recording. Does it record if the car is unlocked? No, it doesn't. It? But that's one of the things we're trying to figure yeah. out also is because the way the Tesla's locks work, as we walk away, it locks itself. Right, so we don't actually look at the car and you know lock it manually, we just walk away, and that's just the habit we've gone into because that's just how the Tesla works, right? So, one of the theories that Carrie thinks is that as we were walking away from the car, someone like kind of snuck up to the car, opened the door, and just snatched it real quick before it locked. Hey guys, Nathan Brennan Masters, he was upset, I was upset, it wasn't even my stuff. I learned a long time ago never leave production equipment in your car. You just, it's, it's like a thing. It's, you just, you just can't leave it in there. People will watch you. I mean, people, people are the kind of people that will do some stuff. They're eagle eyed. They're always on the lookout for something. And uh, this thing, this is the biggest giveaway. And uh, there's other things that are big giveaway that you might have something in your car, especially because, you know, Tesla is people, people are peeping at. Back in the day when we were doing uh, Wages of Sin, I think that was around, yeah, it was around 2006, 2007, somewhere in that, uh, in that time. Uh, one of the people that we were working with, they were working on another project and then they were supposed to come work with us, uh, you know, later on. Either they were working with us or they were working with a friend of ours. It was something like that. But we, we were supposed to get together. And uh, one of their team, they had their production equipment in a station wagon. And I think they had like a tarp over it or something. But, you know, come on. People people see you leaving and they see you got some stuff. Yeah, while you over there doing your thing, they're going to go in there and see what they can get. And this, I always keep my stuff in my bag. I always keep my bag with me. If, you know, for you guys who travel, you YouTubers, I don't care if you're YouTubers, filmmakers, whatever your thing is, of, of content creators, period, you travel, you know, you keep your computer, keep your camera and your overhead, you know, keep it with you, especially your main equipment. Maybe you got some other equipment that you can kind of lose and it's not a big deal. But I know that that camera is like a $5,000 camera. It's no telling how much the lens and everything he had connected to it. Now he's probably has insurance at least i hope he has insurance on it but yeah dude that's mm, mm, ne never even if you're in a hotel room take your computer your main camera keep it in your backpack just don't uh, just don't leave your stuff where people can get it because people will snatch your stuff especially now production equipment a thing people are not dumb they know about it that's another thing, like uh, a lot of times people have like these bags, like the, um, you know, the Peak Design bags and stuff. And even I kind of want to get get one, but like if I get one, I want to get one that people, you know, I want to get one of those that people don't really know. Uh, that's a camera bag. You know, I want to get one that's, you know, one of those sleek ones. Maybe like the Air, like the Air um, Tech bag or something like that. Or, you know, one, one of those bags is just kind of black. You don't know what it is. It just looks like a book bag. So I don't, you know, I don't even want to grab anything that looks too, uh, too special, you know. So it's 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 crazy. Even with like a Tesla, where you can walk out and it locks by itself. The kind of people that go after that type of stuff, they can do it in seconds. They get in, they get out. That's it. You you don't see them. You don't see nothing. And it's just like they're looking for the video, try to see who who snatched it. Whatever happened, uh, it didn't turn the uh, the Sentry cameras on. So. You don't know, man. They they can get in, they can get out, just like that. Next thing you know, your stuff is gone. So guys, keep your equipment on you. Don't don't let it out of your sight. Keep it in your bag. Keep your bag with you. <laughs> so, um, but other than that, guys, you take it easy. Nathan Brandon Masters. Awesome. Don't look back. We're here to stay. A life we knew would come.
come one day And this is it, the borderline To where the future leaves us behind The fire will burn and never die Looking through the eyes of a brand new life It's so 